Hi guys, welcome back to Honor Lane. Today I'm doing my July favorites. Yeah. <laughs> I always forget which month we're doing. So my first product, I just did a review on this last week and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 110. Um, I actually literally just filmed this like just before this so it's why my makeup in here looks exactly the same. Um, but as a student, really really busy student, I have to double film on a day. So I always film two videos at once. Um, but yeah, I love this foundation. I'm not going to talk much about it because of course I've just done a review. So I'll link the review in the down bar if you're interested in hearing more about it. Uh, but I love it, obviously, because it's now one of my favourites video. So definitely check out the review and you'll hear all my thoughts on it. Um, the next product that, it's another Maybelline one. Maybelline actually did a lot of great things this month for me. This is the Master Glaze Blush Stick in Just Pinched Pe Peak. Just Pinched Pink. Just pinched pink. It's a really hard name. Um, and as you know, I really loved the color Coral Sheen, and I've already talked about that heaps on my channel. Um, but I wanted another color, so I bought this beautiful soft pinky one. It's kind of like a dusky pink, so it's not too bright. Um, it'll be perfect for springtime, and we're like, you know, one month away from spring, so it's very exciting. Um, but it does give me a really beautiful natural flush, and I find those um, blush sticks to be extremely pigmented, like a tiny bit goes a long way. They last all day, the colour you can definitely still see there at the end of the day. And my favourite brush to apply them with is the Real Techniques little stippling brush because this is like the perfect size for your cheek and it just buffs it in beautifully. So I actually like dab it on the top of it. I never just apply it straight to my cheek because it's that pigmented. You have to be a little bit careful with it. If you don't have a brush, at least dab, like rub it on your fingers and then dab it on your cheek rather than putting a big stripe of pink on your cheek. Um, carrying on with blushes, the next favourite I have is an hourglass blush. No, this is an hourglass ambient lighting powder that I use as a blush. I have to get that right. So this is the colour Mood Light from the ambient lighting powder collection. And as you can see, oh, bright lighting camera. Okay, so this is actually, <laughs> I just want to show the colour. Uh, it's a really, really soft pink. Um, but this product um, I use basically as a blush. I bought it as one of like the, you know, as a face powder, a finishing powder. Um, because in the shop, like swatching it on the back of my hand, like it didn't look that pink. And I thought it would just give a really beautiful kind of glow. Um, but it definitely makes it look, makes me look like I'm sunburned if I just put this all over my face. So I use it as a blush and I'm wearing it today. It just adds a really, really pale soft sheen on my cheeks. Um, perfect for when I don't want to look like I'm wearing blush, but I want to look healthy. And because it's one of the ambient lighting powders, it's got quite a glow to it. So if you're pale like me, like you have to be really, really pale to kind of use this as a blush, um, definitely check this out. And it's such a huge amount that you get as well. You get so much product. How much do you get? 10 grams. There's heaps of product in there and it has a nice mirror. I love actually these compacts. The mirror is like a perfect size and it's really easy to hold. So I use these for applying my makeup all the time as well. The next favourite I've got is a brow product from L'Oreal. This is their Brow Artist Plumper in the colour Medium Dark. And this has been very, very, very talked about on YouTube. In fact, it was pretty much, I think it was Lauren Curtis that convinced me to buy it. She mentioned it, that she loved it. So I actually hunted in like a bunch of price lines for a good month before I came across my colour. Because the dark one is always, always, always sold out. And they usually only have transparent and they'll sometimes have the other sort of light blonde colour. But the brown is by far like the best, even if you've got like lighter brows, because it's not that pigmented. Um, but what I like it for is it really sets like your brows in place, but it's got kind of cute little, you know, fibers in it, similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, and the brush as well is nice, nice and tiny, so it's so accurate. And what I've been doing to kind of get the real look of like quite natural brows, I've been filling them in with my. Bobbi Brown Mahogany Eyeshadow, which is a sort of very cool toned dark brown, and I very lightly fill them in with that, and then I go in quite heavily with this product, which gives it a really hairy look. <laughs> Sounds weird, but um, I like my brows to look really hair-like and not drawn on. A couple of eye products that I've been loving as well, I've been kind of going back and thrashing my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette again. I sort of go through phases with this. But it's one that I definitely always keep in my vanity right in front of me and not like my makeup storage, the main storage, because it's something that I reach for a lot, particularly the colour Venus, because it's like a really, really white based kind of oystery pearl colour. Um, perfect for highlighting in a corner. Um, I can even use it as an actual highlighter. It's really gorgeous. 
Um, and then I love the matte shades. I love Naked 2 for my crease. I use Walk of Shame just to like, as a general like matte lid color. Um, Faint, I don't use very much, but it's a beautiful medium brown. It's just that I tend to reach for other medium browns more. And I also use Crave the Black a lot. It's just an easy, you know, matte black right there. Um, so I've been using that to give a very natural, basic eye shape. Um, and then I'll go in with my eyeliner, which has been like my real feature of my makeup this month. And my favorite eyeliner was one I picked up because my Maybelline Master Precise, I love that eyeliner, but it runs out so fast. So I thought I'd try another brand just to see if I could get a bit of a longer life out of it. So I tried the Australis Tiny Tip Eyeliner. And while I don't know if this will last much longer than the Maybelline, I like the way it applies better. I have the most control I've ever had with any pen-like eyeliner before so it's it is like a felt tip but the tip is very small and it's very stiff the little you know tip bit so it's not like when you draw the lot like you know the tip goes wherever you don't want it to go you can actually literally just draw the line so where your hand goes the line goes and that's perfect <laughs> so I actually already have a backup for it because I don't like to run out of eyeliner I get really frustrated in the mornings if my eyeliner goes really patchy because I haven't you know, got a spare one, I have to try and use what's left. Um, but it's still going well, I've had this for a couple of weeks and it's still got quite a bit of pigment, so I'm happy. I feel like it might be one of those ones that as soon as it goes, it goes. Um, I better talk about what I'm wearing on my lips as well. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color LAX, which is one of their um, matte, like liquid matte lipsticks, so it doesn't come off at all. Uh, I've loved all five of the ones I bought. I'm so happy I got them. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting more. They are doing a restock of this in the first week of August. So if you're keen for some, um, because seriously you need to get your hands on them. They're six bucks each and they're phenomenal. Um, but definitely check out, I would like follow uh, Colourpop on Twitter or Instagram or one of their social medias so that you get notified like when they're going to be back in stock exactly. Because they'll literally sell out within a day. So um, definitely like keep your eye on social media. I've got the colours LAX lip which is this one the dark burgundy i've got avenue which is like a deep red um limbo which is a chocolate brown and then two matte shades trap matte shades two nude shades trap which is like a grazy nude and then midi which is like a real basic peachy kind of nude and i love all of them and i've got a review for those as well kind of a first impressions review i can link that in the down bar as well and um, so i won't keep talking about them anymore but as you can see really awesome lip color the next product is a hair tool and you'll probably be wondering how I did my hair today because it's a little bit different to how I normally do it. And I use the Irresistible Me Sapphire 8-in-1 Complete Curler. So it's the full name, it's a hectic name to pronounce but um, yeah so basically this is one of those products that has the um, interchangeable little um, wands and so it is a clipless curler which I love, I love the wands that you just twist around. And I've been having so much fun with this over the last month, creating completely different kind of hairstyles. You can make soft, soft waves, which I've done a tutorial for, which I can link below. Um, but I haven't done another one since then. If you want to see like a tutorial on sort of how to get this kind of hair, it looks sort of more like a, you know, like a person who had natural curly hair. You just kind of have this crazy mop of curls. Um, that's using this wand here. So it's a tapered wand and you take very small pieces at a time. So it takes about 40 minutes to do this. It's a long time. It's certainly not for an everyday style, but eh, I just wanted to have fun curly hair for this video. So um, I used this wand. If you want to see a tutorial, I can do one, but pretty much it's exactly the same technique I used for my other curling tutorial which I've linked below except you're using this wand which is the tapered wand and you're using slightly smaller pieces of hair but let me know I can do one I guess uh, eventually but if you are keen to buy this set like I'd highly recommend it and that's not only because like I got sent this from Irresistible Me thank you it was very lovely of them I actually really love it and I think compared to some of the other curlers on the market, I don't know how they perform. I mean, this performs excellently. It curls my hair, and that's the main thing. It doesn't singe it off. Um, but I love that you get eight different interchangeable wands because a lot of them only have like a couple, like maybe three or three to five at the most. So the fact that you get like eight different ones, um, I'll leave a link to their website below if you want to check out like all the different styles of you know wands that come with the kit. Um, but you can definitely do like the hugest range of styles 
and I won't need any other curling irons besides this one so it's pretty awesome and of course I have a discount code for you guys so if you want some money off your set then you can just use the discount code irresistible Anna I'll leave it in the description as well in case you can't spell it <laughs> um, and that will give you I think it's 10% off it might be more but I'll have to check I'll leave it all, all the information below if you can um, but it's definitely worthwhile I mean who doesn't love a discount code so if you've been thinking about getting one of these for a while um, now's a good time to invest now my last favorite for the month is my new like little going out purse so as you can see like my purse wall or handbag wall extends from here and I have all my big kind of day bags which I can fill with you know cats and <laughs> my life um, but this is a little purse that I'm using to go out so basically I picked this up from my work but it's a me piace purse so as you know I work at Merchant 1948 which is a shoe store and they also sell bags but we're, our sister store Mi Piace, where I used to work back in New Zealand, we've got some Mi Piaches here, they, just, they don't have any positions for me at the moment, and I really love their stock, but um, they do sell some Mi Piace stuff there. So this bag is a Mi Piace bag, you can buy it from Mi Piace stores or online, and it's just one of those like crossbody bags with like a long strap, but this is the most nifty little bag, it's so convertible. So first of all, obviously you can take the straps off, so you can use it, as a clutch it kind of has like this sort of oh that's my glasses case wipe okay so it has like you could put stuff in the middle in there what is that oh, a cherry ripe <laughs> this is like a what's in my bag video this is the kind of things that like just end up in my bag um okay so um what is oh that's just a receipt okay so they've got a kind of empty open pocket in there and then the zipped pockets and i tend to keep like everything in there like keys cards money everything and then the other side I leave purely to put my phone which obviously is on my desk right now but um, that's so that it doesn't get scratched by anything else so I always just have a separate pocket for my phone but the cool thing about this purse is that you can open it up with this zip and basically you can end up with two purses mind blowing which is really cool because if you were like going out with your friends and one of them didn't have a bag you could be like hey take half of my bag so this side here, as you can see, is like pony fur. It's not made of real pony, but that's just the type of um, leather we call it when it still has the hair on it. So it's like a black pony fur, real soft and, you know, luxurious to pat. Um, and then the other one, other side is just plain leather. So you can take it as like a single one or you can do, I usually carry mine as a double because I like to take a lot of things out. Um, but it's kind of handy if you didn't want to um, take as much you could just take one of the sides the other thing um, this doesn't come with the bag but I've got this long gold chain from one of my other clutch bags um, and this so if you've got a, like a long gold chain lying around your house or like they're quite easy to keep or get one from like a I don't know just even off a cheap bag like from Colette or something and then just swap it over um, but yeah now I've got like a gold chain on it because it's gold hardware all the zips and everything and it looks really, really, really dressy and kind of more evening-y with the gold chain. And then I tend to use the leather strap if it's more like a daytime event. I actually have been using it like even just to go to uni, mainly because all my stuff's already in it. So I just kind of grab it um, and I haven't needed to take as much stuff because I've just been popping down to the local VCA to practice. So I haven't needed to take a big bag. But yeah, so there's my latest little bag purchase and I really, really love it. I highly recommend that bag. It's like a perfect staple forever bag like a clutch you would always look good with every outfit and it's just so convenient with all the little pockets i always try and tell myself to not talk too much in these videos and it's never successful i just love favorites videos i love just chatting about my favorite stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed it as well as much as i did um give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment below with some of your favorite things and maybe things that you think I should try out, any video suggestions, just any comments um, regarding any part of the video or anything about my channel. I just love reading your comments and replying to them. And I hope that you can subscribe to my channel as well. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a long time viewer and you've come back, then thank you for continuing to support my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.